Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. Um, I thought I'd start this video off with some exciting news for me, probably not so exciting for anyone else other than my partner who's coming with me. But um, we have booked a trip. We live in UK and we booked a trip to go to New York. So I just picked myself up a little travel guide today. Um, there's loads of travel guides out there and I just uh, kind of grabbed this one because I had a pull out map. It wasn't too expensive and I didn't think if I wanted to take it with me it wasn't too bulky so that's why I got that one. Not any special reasons and I'm going through looking for places that we want to go um, I want to go to mainly and <laughs> yeah go from there. But of course I'm going to do some craft shopping because who could go to a new city especially not America and and not go craft shopping. So I wanted to just put a call out to anyone in America or anyone from um, Europe who's been to um, New York and knows of good craft stores, of anything I need to know before I go into the craft stores. Basically, what are the best ways to go crafty shopping in New York? Um, and we're prepared to travel around the city. We use that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, anywhere around New York that's not too far away from Manhattan, I suppose. But, yeah. All advice would be appreciated. So move that one out of the way. That's just a fun bit for me. I've obviously done a little bit of shopping today and um, I have kind of learnt how to put video clips together, mainly because being a teacher, we had another teacher come in and teach my children how to do green screening and um, making animations. And in that he showed me how to, to use iMovie. So I've been able to put some clips together, which means I can put some clips of this stuff in the shops, in some of the UK shops, mainly just some sort of cheaper stores because I went to the quieter town near me, which is a cheaper one, um, I picked up a few bits and pieces, but I thought I might sort of have a go at filming in some of the shops so you could see what's out there, because it's quite interesting to see maybe what's in a different area or in a different country and what people have. But onto what I bought. So first of all, I will say, from a shop that isn't necessarily a crafty shop, but I went into Lidl's to pick up my groceries and they had this box of four acrylic sprays, you can see acrylic spray, um, for £4.99 and I thought, well, I want to give it a go, see what it's like. And I'm not just someone who picks up and randomly tries stuff. I do actually really like spray paints for when you do mixed media and things. And £4.99 is not a bad price, I thought. If they're okay obviously so you get this kind of ready color um, and as it shows on the camera is pretty much how it shows in real life and that, not so much that one that was more of a greeny let's put it a bit more under the light so you can see kind of a greeny dark greeny color I'm not always very good at my colors sometimes people interpret them differently so if you're thinking that looks like a different color it may well be um, obviously that kind of bold blue and the fourth one you get is this yellow so I and it always comes with little quick instructions on how to do it it's slightly reassuring that they put something in the box so I'm actually quite happy with those all I've done is literally come home now and um, squirt them so I've not actually made anything to show you but I have sprayed them out a bit and I'm some of it I dabbed with a paper towel just because I didn't want to wait for it to dry I haven't plugged my heat tool in and the yellow went through one of those stencils from the range last week. Um, so just showing you, so I'm actually really happy with how that comes out. So obviously different amounts away from it that you spray it and all that. I can actually spray it now, why not? I'm going to affect it. Let's get, which colour haven't I used? This blue one. So it's got one of those rattly things in there. I'll shake it a bit and I'll give it a... So it comes out initially a little bit blobby, but that's because it's the first time ever being used, I think. Let's try and clean some of that up. Um, but then a nice fine spray, and actually quite like both the effects. Get some of that paint off quickly. There we go. So yeah, that was um, and this is what I did before. Dab it to try and dry it off. Yeah, so I was happy with that purchase. So if you're interested in some spray paints spray acrylic paint so 4 99 for four in the pack in um littles and you know what littles are like i would suggest going and getting them if you're interested because they're not always going to be there and also in littles i picked up something not especially exciting but i have ideas for what i'm going to do with it 
I bought some of these hook and eye Velcro pieces. This was £1.29, just a usual sort of little make. And as you know what these are, these are the um, adhesive ones. Let's get that bit better in, so the hook and the eye. And I sort of imagine this is like closings to make some kind of a, maybe a paper journal or like a paper purse or a little box or something like that. That'd be really useful. And you get absolutely loads in there. I haven't counted them, but oh, it says 50. I don't need to count them. It tells you. 50. So you can see how they've used it. That was obviously on some kind of, that's imagining it like on a fabric bag, but I'm thinking, well, you could use that, could make some kind of paper projects like that. So if £1.29 wants to give it a go, so that's what I got from Lidl's. Um, popped into Poundland and picked up some of these cheapo makeup sponges, because I just like them for using with distress inks and paints and stencils and stuff. Obviously that's a pound. And have we got anything else in there? I don't think so. And then I went into Wilco's, and it's not an overly crafty item necessarily, but I bought this spray travel bottle, because at the moment I only had this spray, the only one I could find in Poundland, which is massive, and the squirty holes, not very useful for crafting. So pick this one up, 50p in Wilco. I've already filled it with water, and basically, for where I've sort of distressing, this is just me playing around to see if the spray was any good and see how it creates this nice mottled, well, they're calling it oxide effect, but I don't know if I particularly call it that. So yeah, really happy with how it sprays. So I'm just putting it on, that's where I put some distress oxide, using the same paper towel, shouldn't we do that, um, through a stencil. And you can see how now I've sprayed it with the water, it's got this nice kind of mottled effect quite subtle through the camera but I like that I like doing that and I really wanted a much better bottle so that one will go 50p it's a much better spray bottle than one I had sprays really nicely whilst I was in Wilco I also picked this up not really crafty but very cute for putting cute little craft items on keep fiddling with the focus so like a bit of washi tape or whatever I happen to be using so I don't lose it I'm always using these fine nibbed um fine tipped glue bottles and then when I take the pin out I lose it whereas if I put the pin in here I'm not going to lose it and have to keep getting more and more pins so there is method in my madness and that was really cute two pounds you can see where the sticky label came off kind of ruined it but um I like that I think that's cute so I like it um it's got that in Wilco and then what else did I wander onto and then I went into there's a market near the place the town that I was in and one of the market stalls was selling this jo Joanna Sheen um, stamp set so it's in different packaging I've just put it into this one now um, and I don't really need any more rubber stamps but it was 6 99 and they had a half price for 3 50 but the main reason I bought it was because it is ring-tailed lemurs and last Valentine's Day my partner and I went to feed the lemurs in the zoo and we absolutely loved it. It's the most amazing thing to do. And so we're doing it again this year. Um, so I just love it. And it's ringtailed lemurs. They're just gorgeous. They sort of hold your little hands and things. I was going to show you. And here's my little lemur that I was bought when I went and did that. Isn't he cute? With his little tail. So I love, ri <laughs> I love ringtailed lemurs. So I couldn't possibly say no to a stamp with ringtailed lemurs on. Um, and that is, as you can see, a rubber stamp. So when it came, it was all in one big block. That's just the writing from it. Um, but one big piece of rubber without the backing on, which was is okay because I've had quite a few that didn't have the backing on. And so I already owned some of this, what do you call it, easy mount stuff, which I just bought on Amazon. I think it's about four pounds for an A4 sheet. And so I just stuck it on the back and that, that gives it the, the cling bit that you need. So I've already tried it out. Probably could have done with doing it a few more times in my Tim Holtz stamping tool, whatever you call it, but I love those lemurs and obviously colouring them up with some grey and white and, and black and maybe a bit of brown. So they so they're all and they do do that, they constantly have all their tails curled around each other, which is really cute. And there's a mother and a baby. And the few of them all together. Oh, that's my my cables hanging in. And that reminds me, because when we went to feed them, they all kind of, when we left and were walking away from the um, little island that they were kept on, 
they all sort of sat in the window and stared at us. So absolutely, <laughs> that's just a bit of a nostalgic thing for me. So I got that. And I'm pretty sure that that is it for my haul. Yeah, didn't get too much because I'm not supposed to be buying any craft stuff, as I've said. And I got a few bits for my New York trip. Um, but I did also go into the range, because you'll see that in the little video clips, and pick myself up a lovely hot water bottle cover as I get backache and stuff sometimes. And this is absolutely gorgeous um, <laughs> for 4 49 So I just thought I would show you that. Um, but yeah, oh, and also what's in the range? Whilst I'm here, I picked up one of their free creativity inspirations. They give us away free on the till. And I presume because they've stopped doing the Do Crafts magazine that they're just going to give out these kind of little pamphlets. I've got some ideas. It's crafting for children, making some signs and things, um, and bits to do, some articles. I was kind of hoping it was actually just a catalogue of products because I could look at craft products forever. But um, it's quite a good idea that they're doing that because I actually did read that Do Crafts magazine. Um, so I'll possibly miss it a bit in the range so that's the January 2018 so I will try and pick one of these up every month because it's worth it just to have a look isn't it for free so that was the last bit I picked up in the range and now hopefully it will all work that I can seamlessly put these videos together for the first time that I have done it and you will see what I got up to in town so speak to you soon mm -hmm.